Hello, welcome to another episode from uh, Puzzle Pleasures. Uh, this time uh, we're going to take another look at um, my black light that I use for uh, stamp collecting, uh, specifically made for stamp collecting. It's by uh, I'm going to pronounce it as it's written here, uh, Lec Lecterm, um, but it's Lighthouse brand, uh, which you've probably heard of um, if you've done any shopping for um, stamp uh, supplies, whether it be stock books or um, stock cards, um, other tools. Uh, that they, they're one of the big names. I think they're made out of uh, Germany, but correct me if I'm wrong. In any case, um, it's not much to see in the picture. It's a smallish device. Um, I'd say about seven inches long and uh, one inch thick, maybe two and a half inches the other direction. Um, and uh, this is the UV side, which is also the short, um, short wave UV um, with a uh, like full Larson bulb in there. Just uh, then over here, we have uh, the switch for short wave and long wave, and then on one end here it is. There's what I assume is an LED to do the um, to do the long wave. Um, it is, as you can see here, here. Let me. As you can see here, it's uh, so the short wave is 254 nanometers, and the long wave is 380 nanometers. Um, in, off is in between the two. Um, I'm, I'm sure that some wavelengths close to that may work, but I've never tested it. I haven't used other ones, but this one seems to work great. For most stamps, uh, you want the uh, short wave, um, but there's a few countries where you'll use long wave. And I'm from, right now, I can't remember what those are, um, but that's one of the reasons I bought the dual wave one. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, I think uh, I've seen it on Amazon for the low 50s, and in fact, I'll make sure I put a link up um, in the description of this video to the uh, Amazon product. Um, it'll be my um, affiliate link, so uh, if you buy it, I may get a small percentage. That'd be great, uh, but don't feel like you have to buy it, but it is probably the cheapest price I've seen it. Um, but why is this neat? Uh, it's just so neat for so many reasons. You can see so many differences between types of paper, but I don't want to get into all that here. I really had a specific job, uh, so let me get into that. <clears throat> I have a giant pile of these uh, four cent uh, Lincolns, and they come in both tagged and untagged varieties, and I figure it was about time to do it. To sort through them, I should say. Okay, so these are um, Scott 1282 and 1282A, 1282A being the tagged or fluorescent ones. Um, there's different types of tagging, but on this stamp it's just one type, uh, which is overall tagging. And uh, I've turned it on now, and you can see as I wave it across, some light up green and some don't. Um, here's what it looks like on the UV side. Probably don't want to stare into that too much. I'll try to keep this out of the way uh, so that the focus doesn't uh, shift onto that. Okay, so let's try this. So first we have the untagged. And then, let's see, a tagged over here. And another untagged. Tagged. 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 Lots of tags. It seems like more tagged ones. Fluorescent ones, if you will. But a few of the untagged as well. These happen to be the same value in my old catalog. Oh, we have a strip of four. Both uh, minimum catalog value, so it's really just knowing what you have. Now this one looks like a perfin. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, Let's see, it's upside down and backwards, but it looks like um, PDR, maybe? If anybody knows what that perfin is, I'd be interested. It's actually hard to shoot because um, the camera's doing really, really well. Now, I've lost focus. It's coming back. I'm just going to reset focus. Um, I have to shoot in almost darkness here. I mean, it's I'm in a dark room during the daytime with no lights on. Uh, I've lost focus again. I'm just going to correct it as I go. It's just to be expected. Um, it would have taken me a long time to get the settings right in manual on this camera. And uh, I already have them set for my normal recording. So, I mean, sometimes it takes me many videos to get them the way I want them. Say so another tagged. That one is... That one's not as clear. That is tagged, but it's very faded compared to some of the others. But it'll go in the tagged pile. Tagged. Tagged, tagged, tagged. 
Wow, a lot more tagged. 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 Piece of, well, it's probably a stamp. But I'm going to call it garbage. No, just a piece of garbage. Backer paper. Uh, looks like both of those are going to be tagged. 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 But yeah, a lot of fun. I'll try to do some more videos where I show you what we can see. Another one. Tagged. Um, with different stamps. There's, I've got it on some Canadian stamps where just one release of stamps. There's probably six or seven different brightnesses of tagging. Um, and they're not, as far as I know, even cataloged that, to that level of detail. Um, but it is interesting to see. So untagged. Strip of three untagged. And it looks like uh, three kind of stuck together tagged. I'll leave them there for now. I'll separate them later. Nice and nice bright one. And the last two untagged. So we've come to do what we need to do. I will just show you in case you're interested uh, what these look like with the long wave. It's a long wave, not quite as bright, but you can see you don't see it. It's bright. It's um, it's just lighting them up like a regular light. They don't seem to fluoresce. Uh, so that would be the difference. Definitely have to have the white right wavelength. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this example of using a black light to uh, see the tagging on your stamps.